So today's gonna be a difficult day. And in all likelihood, it's gonna be a difficult month. Do we have a country where rules, honesty, fairness, decency apply, or are we dealing with something else entirely? No matter the outcome, we're gonna find out a lot about ourselves. The past four years have held up a giant mirror to America, and we have to take a good long look and decide if we like what we see. So pace yourself, clean out your drawers, make a huge meal, watch a movie with your family, do something with your extra energy. I mean, you can probably tell from my videos that I'm not a naturally calm person. It's 20 freaking 20! Absolutely fucking nailing it. No one has ever accused me of being chill. It was a campaign event. <laughs> but I know we're heading into a particularly unsettled time. And I think we need to be prepared. Personally, I hope we get a little relief. Just a little relief before we have to jump back into action. But no matter what happens, it's not over. Even with a win for common sense over corruption, there's still so much work to be done to make America a country truly worth being proud of. We have to decide who we are. No matter how this goes, we have to ask more from ourselves and from our country than we have asked up until now. This hatred and division, this corruption and disregard for the rules and common decency, this can't be our legacy. We have to keep fighting for a better future than that. As the Reverend A.J. Must, who legend said, stood in front of the White House every day during the Vietnam War with a single candle, and somebody said to him, you know, why do you do this? You know, do you really think you're going to make a change? And he said, oh, I'm not... I don't do this to change the country. I, I do this so the country won't change me. So be calm, be well, be hopeful, and I'll see you on the other side. I'm sure there's been lots for me to be mad about then too. Ha ha ha.